my dear students uh, yesterday i have discussed about in the previous video i have discussed about the agro based industries uh, today i am going to discuss regarding the manufacturing industry is it clear so manufacturing industries are based on minerals so there are different kinds of minerals and accordingly there are different kinds of industries so first i have taken the iron and steel company this is the most important industry and it is also known as the heavy industry it requires heavy transportation cost because raw material as a less finished goods are heavy and bulky so this is the features of the raw material that is the heavy and bulky that's why the transportation cost is very high it requires uh, for the melting of these raw materials that is the requirement of what cooking coal limestone so iron ore cooking coal and limestones are required in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1 manganese is used to harden the steel okay so now it is in our country more than 32.8 million tons of steel is being produced so on the basis of the production india contains the ninth rank among the world crude steel producer okay india is the largest producer of sponge iron so in case of a sponge iron it contains the first rank however the per capita consumption per annum is only 32 kg there are no primary integrated and mini steel plants in our country china is the largest producer and largest consumer of steel in the world the data uh, according to 2004 india was the largest exporter of steel <coughs> Chota Nagpur plateau region has the maximum concentration of iron and steel industries. India is not able to perform full potential uh, due to following regions. So regions are cooking coal is high. The cost uh, due to high cooking cost, or we can say. cooking high cost and limited availability of cooking coal second that is the lower productivity of laborers irregular supply of energy poor infrastructures and so on so it compelled our country uh, not to utilize full potential but in the year 1991 liberalization took place a number of foreign investors came to india and they invested their capital as a result it uh, iron and steel company got uh, boost energy from liberalization and uh, fdi foreign direct investment now a question may be asked from you what are the reason for maximum concentration of iron and steel industries in chota nagpur plateau in other question may be asked that why tata iron and steel company is located uh, in chota nagpur plateau or why jamshedpur is considered as a iron and steel company so here there are a number of factors but but i have taken only five factors first that is the high grade raw materials are available in the surrounding low cost of production of iron due to cheap labor vast growth potential of market because uh, there are two port near the jamshedpur uh, one is the haldia port and other is uh, located in orissa that is known as uh 
नेक्स्ट इज द सुटेबल क्लाइमेट एंड एवेबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर ओके सो स्वनरेखा रिवर इज ऑल्सो जस्ट बिसाइड द टाटा एर एंड इंडस्ट्री जस्ट बिसाइड द जमशेदपुर एंड दैट्स वाई हेयर वॉट इज दिस देर इज एबंडन वाटर एंड दीज इंडस्ट्री रिक्वायर्स ह्यूज वाटर सो पारादीप दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पोर्ट विच इज लोकेटेड इन ओरिशा सो देर आर टू बिग पोर्ट्स इज एवेलेबल सो दीज फॉर्म्स कैन इजली इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट द गुड्स एंड रॉ मटीरियल्स अनदर क्वेश्चन मे आस्क फ्रॉम यू वॉट आर द रीजन्स फॉर लो कंजम्पन ऑफ आयरन इन इंडिया दैट इज ओनली थर्टी टू के जी सो योर आंसर विल बी देर आर सो मेनी रीजन्स बट इन आवर कंट्री द प्रोडक्टिविटी इज लो सप्लाई इज ऑल्सो इरेटिक पावर सप्लाई इज इरेटिक हाई कॉस्ट एंड लिमिटेड एवेबिलिटी ऑफ कुकिंग कोल सो दीज आर द रीजन्स एंड ड्यू टू दैट द कंजम्पन लेवल ऑफ आयरन इन आवर कंट्री इज वेरी लो नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट इंडस्ट्री दैट इज नोन एज एल्यूमिनियम इंडस्ट्री सो एल्यूमिनियम स्मेल्टिंग इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मेटोलॉजिकल इंडस्ट्री इन आवर कंट्री इट इज राइट रेसिस्ट इट इज लाइट इन नेचर इट हेल्प्स टू मेंटेन द डेरेबिलिटी ऑफ द अदर मेटल्स सच एज आयरन बिकॉज इट हैज द रेजिस्टेंस टू कोरोजन ए गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट ए गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इट इज बेसिकली ऑल्सो यूज इन इलेक्ट्रिक इंडस्ट्रीज इट बिकम्स स्ट्रॉन्ग वेन इट इज मिक्सड विद अदर मेटल बट इनिशियली इट इज वेरी सॉफ्ट द मेन यूजेज ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इंडस्ट्रीज आर मेकिंग ऑफ वायर मेकिंग ऑफ यूटेंसिल मेकिंग ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट इट हैज गेन द पॉपुलरिटी एज ए सब्सटीट्यूट ऑफ स्टील कॉपर जिंक एंड लेड इन ए नंबर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज सो एज वी नो दैट दीज इंडस्ट्रीज आर कंसिडर्ड एज ए हैवी इंडस्ट्री हाउ एवर आफ्टर दीज इंडस्ट्रीज इट हैज मोर पॉपुलर इन आवर कंट्री देर आर एट एल्यूमिनियम स्टील प्लांट्स विच कवर मोर देन सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलियन टन्स ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम और वी कैन से विद द हेल्प ऑफ एट एल्यूमिनियम स्मेल्टिंग प्लांट्स has the ability to produce more than 600 million tons of aluminium these industries are located in the state of odisha west bengal kerala uttar pradesh chatisgarh maharashtra and tamil nadu bauxite is the raw material it is dark reddish colored rock बॉक्साइट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन छोटा नागपुर द मेन प्रोड्यूसिंग द बॉक्साइट प्रोड्यूसर्स स्टेट इज ऑल्सो कंसिडर्ड एज झारखंड बिकॉज हेयर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बॉक्साइट इज वेरी हाई नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट इंडस्ट्री दैट इज नोन एज केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज so chemical industry is fast growing industries in india it contains or it contributes nearly 3% of total gdp it is the third largest in asia but 12th place in the world in terms of its size so it indicates that in our country the production of chemical is very high because in the asian countries the rank is third and in the world is 12th there are large and small scale manufacturing units which produces says which produces which produce inorganic and organic chemicals now that is the most important thing uh, you have already studied in the chemistry also previously organic and inorganic chemicals 
so here just I have given some introduction so inorganic chemicals includes sulfuric acids nitric acids alkali and soda ash sulfuric acid is basically used for fertilizer synthetic fibers plastic adhesive paints dyes stuffs etc whereas soda ash is used for making glass soaps and detergent organic chemicals includes petrochemical which is used for synthetic fiber synthetic rubber plastic drugs and pharmaceuticals organic chemical plants are located near oil refineries or petrochemical plants mm -hmm. chemical industries in is its own largest consumers okay so in this way we can say that uh, chemical industries the demand of chemical industries is very high so these are the important industry one question will come in board exam 100 percent so go through uh, it in a proper way and all the uh, all all these things are mentioned in the form of points so that it can be very easy to learn it okay thank you